Good evening and welcome. <laughs> Good evening. I hope everyone's all right. Uh, I've come on here for. I, I have. I've actually done this once already, but it's far too long and too boring. So I thought I'd cut it down and get to the point. Okay, right. What's going on the 23rd? The 23rd, yeah, it's coming up for us. And this is when the big three o'clock in the afternoon on a Sunday, we're going to buzz everyone's phone. Everyone's going to crap themselves in the car and crash. Uh, what a stupid time to do this, this alert thing. Right, now I can tell you, I've taken it off my phone. I'm going to switch my phone off at about half past two because I don't want to hear it. I've got no point. There's no reason to have an alert. Uh, the government are playing distraction again. Right, why is it a distraction? Okay, a lot of people have heard there's a lot of weird crap going around at the moment. I know I'm sort of like swearing a little bit, but um, there's all sorts of rumours going around, people being suspicious objects put in here, there and everywhere. I don't know, I've never seen anything like that, but they're also on about alien invasion. So you, you, you can forecast on a Sunday afternoon because the aliens know that in the United Kingdom we all have Sunday dinner. So they're going to invade our Sunday dinners because they know we're all at home. Right, OK. Yeah, uh, like just, just stay off the beef because if it turns out that these eight-foot cows walking around with laser guns, you're in problems, right? Go for the lamb. Right. Um, right. So you've got that coming. Right. Why do I think it's a, a, another trick by the government to trip, trip us over? Well, this is what's going on with the government. One, we have a bunch of more on drooliness. Uh, that probably is a good start. Uh, two, they keep getting caught out for lying, bullying, cheating. Uh, you think of it, they're doing it. So they keep getting caught caught out with that one. It's not the SNP also, same boat again. We've only got uh, a week and a half until the country goes to the, I think it's 4th of May, the election comes up. Or is that the, or is that the coronation? Anyway, I know that the, the, cor the coronation's coming. Uh, we're all going to have a day off to cheer. And we're all going to make quiche. Yeah, what a way to party with the quiche. Right. Uh, so they're probably giving us a warning. That, Don't eat the quiche. It's got salmonella. Right. Um, so as well as that... Uh, Real real term is that what's happening is that the actual government are actually uh, the stuff about COVID's coming out and long COVID and the injections, and they are working out quietly in the background, but it's starting to come out about financial compensation. Now, once you talk about financial compensation, we're talking the PPI scandal again. But not that over a car or a loan or something like this. this is over human beings. This is over grandmas and people who passed away. And, and they're now labelling it with, with a monetary stamp. You know, disgusting. Again, another disgusting thing. And all of this became about because they lied. They lied and they profiteered. Now, I will again say to everyone, I remember when this started, Boris Johnson standing up in front of the nation saying... There shall be no profiteering. That is a complete lie. That's exactly what's happened. People have made millions upon millions. And when it comes to, uh, are we getting the money back? No, we're not seeing anything. What we are seeing is the police now are under, under are getting sacked and jailed, left, right and centre, for being not doing their job properly so they're distracting us there saying the police are inept at their job they're also looking at the other and saying well these people run I, I mean I, the one that comes to mind is uh i think it was kirby and ashfield or, or ashfield uh two guys who had 200 less than 200 pounds in a bank set up a company and within a week got a contract for 5.2 million pounds in a check Boom, there you go uh, and as far as I know, they never delivered any of the PPI. So that, to me, would be fraud, surely. So I know that if I was owning the tax man 50 quid, they'd track me down. But it seems to be if you owe 5 million, we'll just write it off. So it's not looking very good. Now, the main thing is that the, the people of the United Kingdom are starting to become self-aware about their rights. Uh, over the last week, we I'd be already started to hear things about 
uh, not paying, uh, yes, not paying gas and electric bills. That's been going on for quite a long time. There is now nearly 6 million people in this country on starvation levels. Um, that's kids and everything. They're not saying much about that. Uh, they forget if people start dying, then Mr. Prime Minister, you will be held liable for that and you will be going to uh, a, just like just like the Nazis in World War Two, be on like a Nuremberg courts because i think we're gonna to have to start looking at that um you've also so desperation on that with the fuel and electric bills uh you've also got at the same point you've got mass strikes that are quietly being settled on the side then you've got this thing about the covid where they're going to be settling on the side where's all this money coming from i thought we hadn't got anything so then you've got the latest this week where these, these guys coming coming from abroad are going to get £1,600 a week if you land in Wales. Uh, that's... I, I forget where that works out. It's a lot more money than I get. So uh, I, I've worked all my life and, and now I'm ill. I, I'm not getting that sort of money. But they, they obviously can just get on a boat, come across here and get everything paid and done dusted for themselves. Um, so that's not going to wind. That's going to wind people up as well. Um, the government has to realise it's as simple as this. The government has to realise either they pull the finger out the backside and do something and make this country better again, or throw in the towel, get out, we'll re-elect another government. If you carry on at the present rate, I see that this country will have possibly a reinsurgence of the National Fronts or the fascists or something. Extreme movements coming back again. So, which we all know is no good for anybody. But, at the moment, if you ask me, who am I going to vote for? I've told you already. I, I come from a Labour, pretty much Labour uh, background. I will not be voting Labour. Sorry, you, I don't trust you enough. Conservative, don't smile, because you will never, ever have my vote. Ever. I'll lend you it to get us out of Europe, but and I'll be quite honest. I, I'm not hiding any. It's my own personal opinion, but I will. I will say it. I will. I, I'm not. Bothered. I will tell you who I voted for last time. I did vote to get out of Europe, um, and I haven't seen us get out of Europe. I think again, it's been people, pin, uh, people at the top taking money out of it, left, right, and centre, instead of doing what they were supposed to. That's how I see it. Um, I, I'm not bothered if anyone argues. That's your own personal opinion. My right is for democracy is your right to not have the same look on it as me. That's what democracy is about. Yeah. So, conservative, you will never get a vote ever again. You have been turned out to, to be quite honest. You're the biggest bunch of liars, robbers, and thieves I've ever known. So, and I'm not joking about that. Uh, and then. Uh, the small ones, I will. I have to vote for somebody. I will not throw my vote away, but I, instead I will vote reform. So uh, that's where that's where it'll be going. Uh, unless something happens, that's where it'll, uh, that's where it will be going. Um, so that's that one because I want to see I want to see this country reformed. It needs to be reformed. The people of the United Kingdom are waking up. They're realizing what common law is about, and they've suddenly realizing even when this when when you get on YouTube and you find lawyers going on explaining that actually the government do not run the country, the people run the country. Uh, and a quick one is is the equation is this: if you go and vote in your local elections. And you vote for a brand new bunch to run it. And they turn around and then say, right, well, the police are doing a crap job. So we'll get rid of that police force because the police force is a private company paid for by the government to rule, to make sure law and order exists. Before that, you had yeomanries. That's the fact. You had the peelers, the Bow Street runners. Before that, it was yeomanries, which are paramilitary troops. Uh, basically, you don't want that because you don't want people walking around with swords smacking you over the head. Better with a truncheon. Right, so, but the fact is this, if you get rid of that council, that council can then vote in another new police force to do to look after the law and order. Uh, so, we know the police are getting loads of court cases against them where they've been doing wrong. So, that's 
all in all. But it's also a distraction again, because with them being under pressure with that, they're not going to look into too much about the frauds that's been going on by the, by the parliamentarians. So, you know, catch-22. If I, was, if I was policeman, I'd pull your fingers out, get hold of those fraudsters, link them through, and every one of those people associated with them, jail. If I owed you 50 quid, you'd come after me. And law should be equal in all eyes, no matter rich or poor in this country. So, if they've been stealing, they go to jail. Not the other way around, send the poor people. The rich are exactly the same as the poor on that count. The law should be for everybody. All right, on that note, <laughs> on that note, uh, I hope everyone's taking well. I hope I haven't bored you too much and I'll give you a bit of f food for thought. All right, take care of yourselves. We'll catch you all. Remember, turn your phones off round about half past two on a, on a Sunday if you don't want disturbing. All right, and I will catch you all before that, I'm sure. Have a nice evening. Ta-ta.